Get your credit, girl, get at it, get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Go get that degree, go, girl. Focus on me. Unlock potential that you didn't know you had it. Fuck that nigga. bell and be notified anytime I post a video again in this video today I want to touch on something which is dear to my heart and I'm sure it's dear to a lot of other people's hearts as well and that is mental health there's a lot of us ladies who go through mental health issues and we keep it deep within and we don't we don't share it with people because we feel either embarrassed or ashamed or we just feel, you know, so isolated within ourselves or so within our, our own confinement of our own brains where we feel like, you know, we don't have any support out there. I went through mental health issues quite a lot throughout my life and there's a lot of people who don't actually know this about me, but... I've been through depression, I've been through anxiety, I have been through postpartum, um, you know, I've, I've had traumatic experiences within my life where it's made me turn to alcohol and even smoking. Um, and one of the, one of the triggers for me was losing a baby and that literally tore me apart um I remember I was <laughs> I found out I was pregnant with my ex-partner and we were really happy for the, to have the baby and you know I normally in my pregnancies I feel really sick and a lot of ladies will relate to this and you know you, you feel really ill when you're pregnant and ill you know your body changes somewhat and in the beginning I was feeling these changes but after a while, I wasn't feeling like this anymore. And the sickness went and, you know, you get the extra saliva. I know it's a bit TMI, but, you know, you get that extra saliva. And all of those thing, elements of pregnancy disappeared for me. So I thought something was wrong. So I went to the doctors and they said, you know, we're going to put you in for an emergency scan just to make sure everything is okay. We did a scan and I was... 11 weeks and there was no heartbeat I was traumatized I was heartbroken I was sad I was I felt like less of a person because or less of a woman because one of our jobs that we think, you know, we think as women, one of our jobs are to, you know, carry our babies and bring them into the world safely. And that's a job that only we can really do. And I felt like I failed at that, like I wasn't able to do that. So I had to go back to, for a follow up appointment um, just to, you know, make sure that, you know, the baby didn't have a heartbeat. So I was at that time i was about nine weeks pregnant so um at 11 weeks i went back and there still was no heartbeat and they said that they were booking me in for a dnc the dnc was to be done i think it was like five days later or something like that so i went home and um you know i spoke to my partner at the time and he was quite upset about it. I was upset about it. Um, you know, we, everyone deals with things differently. So he was dealing with it in his own way and I was dealing with it in my way. And I remember one night my mum came over to my home and my sister and they came over with the kids. And obviously I weren't feeling myself. I was upset and stuff. So you know they were going out so they asked if I could babysit and I was like yeah cool but I was having cramps at the time like really bad cramps 
and I was like, you know, like what's happening? Am I like having a, like a miscarriage? But you, I don't know whether I could call it a miscarriage. I don't know what to call it, but I knew something was happening. Anyway, a couple of hours later, they came back and they'd gone home the next day. And then um, my daughter went to school and then I went to the toilet and I saw blood. And pretty much instantly my heart sank because I knew what was happening. And I... I don't know how to explain my feeling, but I felt as if I had an out of body experience where I was no longer there. I was outside of my body and I was looking down at myself and myself that was on the floor, crying in agony. And I had my son there at the time. He was about three and I was crying in agony and there was just blood everywhere literally everywhere and i i could feel the contractions and with every contraction i feel like i lost a piece of myself um because i knew that it wasn't a contraction where you know you're bringing life into this world i knew it was a contraction to say to me i'm losing my baby um and that went on and the pain intensified for about six hours and finally i was in my bathroom and that's why i fully lost the baby so to speak that was soul destroying and I know I'm not the only woman who's gone through something like that and a lot of us women go through stuff like that and we don't really speak about it because we feel as if we can't speak about it but in, we internalize it all and in turn with us internalizing it all we're breaking elements of ourselves after that day I was never really the same because I'd never experienced anything of that magnitude before I've never felt such loss before I never felt such pain before and I'm not talking physical pain I mean pain within myself like I was traumatized to this day I can't go into a bathroom with the light on because every time I go into a bathroom with the light on, I see what happened to me. And that messed up my, 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 the mental part of me. I don't think I will ever come back from something like that. Um, it's always there with me. That baby, I really wanted it so bad. You know, I sit down and I think, would it have been a he? Would it have been a she? Um, and I guess I'll, I'll never know. But what I do know and what I do want to say to, to all you ladies out there who's ever experienced anything like this is that I know you'll never forget and I know the pain never ever really truly goes away, but you learn to deal with it and know that it's nothing to do with you. It's not you. And it's nothing that you can control. And it's something that unfortunate, it's something unfortunate that happens to us ladies sometimes. And you could be a good person, you could be a bad person. It doesn't matter who you are. It just happens sometimes and there's nothing much that you can really do about it. And that's part of, you know, the reason why I love my kids so hard the way I love them because... I was blessed to be able to bring the three children that I have into the world. And um, being a mother is one of the greatest things and one of the greatest gifts that you could ever have it's in, in this entire world. And, you know, yeah, it, me losing that baby did mess up part of my, men, my mental psyche. And I do think about it, as I said, but I do turn around and I look at the blessings that I, that 
God bless me with and I am thankful every single day. So, you know, again, I want to say to you ladies, you know, you are not alone. And, you know, some of some people have close friends, some of some people don't. Some people have close family and some people don't. But there are outlets out there that you can speak to, like therapists and stuff. I went to a therapist and it really, really helped me um, being able to get things off of my, my, my chest, things that I you might feel a little bit embarrassed to tell other people. Um, you know, things that may have happened in the past, relationship issues, you know, losing babies and stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot of things that can equate and add up to, you know, your mental psyche not being completely where it's supposed to be at. Um, it's part of life, but just don't suffer in silence and don't suffer on your own. I just wanted to share that with you guys because, you know, you guys are my subscribers and I appreciate you guys dearly. And part of me doing YouTube is bringing you guys into my life and sharing my experiences with you guys and hoping that there is somebody out there who I can maybe touch one day um, and let them know, you know, you're not alone and you're not the only person who's gone through these things. So if, you know, this video by any means has helped anybody out there then I feel like it's a job well, well done. Um, so with that being said, if you ain't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, also leave a thumbs up. It's free and it doesn't cost anything and I will definitely be, be back, sorry. Uh, I'll definitely be back with some more footage and videos for you. But until then, 